Are you ready? This is my PowerPoint. Visual and active methods. We're going to be talking about exploring. We're going to go to interesting places. We're going to learn through our interests. This means that you have to participate. The idea is to structure the course so nobody can sit back and say, give me the English. This typically happens in a class. People pay their money, they go to a class, and they expect, look, I paid my money for this course. I was here eight weeks. Why didn't my English improve more? It, nobody can move your mouth for you. So we're creating a structure where you will be moving your mouth at least every five minutes. We learn by speaking and we learn the words we need to know to communicate. So, we're going to perform. You're going to be the cowboy. You're going to be the baseball player. You're going to be Harrison Ford, right? Indiana Jones. Each way that can be used to learn will be brought into this class. If you learn by being structured and organized, we can provide you structure and organization. My experience is that most people are visual and they work better actively. Some students are very, very calm and they work best in a calm environment. Many students like a very active environment because they're so tired anyway they're going to fall asleep if things are calm so they don't want calm music they need to have a beat and the classroom needs to have a beat I'm going to describe to you the structure of the class the typical class what happens in a week that will be the next video this video I'm giving you the background for example I said that there were visual and active methods here, right? Visual and active. We're going to be learning through speaking. When you speak, you're going to make errors. That's where we make the fix. When you speak, you don't remember the exact word. You know it in your language, but you don't know it in English. That's where you say, okay, how do you say this? And that you learn it in that moment. We have many influences here. Alison Gopnik, the teacher is a coach. He's not telling you this is how you throw a baseball and you just sit there. He's going to watch you throw it and then make adjustments. I'm going to watch you hit the ball. I'm going to watch you kick the ball and then I'm going to give you advice. This is the teacher as coach. The teacher as facilitator makes things easy. We said we want to have things that are communicating with our interests and passions. My passions are interesting books. They have to have something that I can interact with. I want to take an idea from here and send it to someone. I want to take the whole new mind and share with you what's important in this book. And I'm going to try to do it without reading the book to you. I'm going to tell you something really interesting. Or I can find a chapter in a book, a page in a book, and say, look, this is fascinating. If you can say, I just found something really interesting, that's what you bring to each course. I have not read this book, but one of my business associates tells me it's a very good book. So my challenge is to apply visual and active methods on boring titles. That's the sort of theory behind here. We're going to use tricks, the, the I before E except after C. This is how I learned English. I'm going to give you the tricks. We're going to learn
basic grammar, but active grammar. This is grammar that journalists use. We have to learn about style. We have to know how to use a dictionary and the pronunciation systems in the dictionary that don't use strange alphabets and synonyms. I'm going to teach you how to use a book like this or the website to build your language. Fluency comes when you can substitute a new word. You don't say prohibited all the time. You think, ah, forbidden. I can say that. It's not allowed. There's three ways. So, what I've shown you are some of my course materials. I've shown you some of the books and the styles and the things we will include in the class, and you will bring your favorite books into the class by telling us, hey, go and check this out. Here's a website that explains something. Skills. What happens if I am eating and I start choking? Are you going to watch me or call somebody or do you know what to do? If there's an accident, something falls and I'm cut, an artery, blood is spewing out, what do you do? These sorts of things. Bring something interesting into the class and then you will be talking. That's what we want, you to be talking. Okay? This is a, an expression that comes from a, an, an educator who created a school. There's more in you, plus en vous. There's more in you. And that's what this course is about. It's not what I bring here. It's what I pull from you. That's Swiss cheese English. Thank you.